With me in the winner's circle, accepting congratulations at this point is John Campbell, the driver of Peace Corps, with his, I believe, 13th, his lucky 13th Breeders' Crown Championship. At the moment, we're going to take a look at an isolated replay of Peace Corps. But tonight, uh, we were told John was having a little trouble in the warm-ups, getting a hold of the track. But Tom Houghton, who we'll talk to in just a moment, let's look at the uh, replay. You just let him sort things out. Well, she's not really quick at the gate, and I didn't want to get into a speed bar duel early. I was just letting her coast out of there and see what uh, happened around the first turn. And really, uh, that's all it was. And she's and going along go, really good. The Murphy blind uh, putting on really helps keep her head straight, keep her mind on business, and help her with her stride. And uh, just nothing you can say. She's a beautifully strided filly, isn't she? She's a great filly. She's very easy to drive. She's just uh, exceptional. She can do whatever you want. She's got tremendous desire. As soon as you move her, she knows what to do. And you are moving her now. By the time you come down in front of the grandstand the first time, you're going to be grabbing that lead. And what told you to make the move at that time? Well, I had to go three wide then to get to the front. I was going to be parked the whole mile, and I didn't want to be parked on three turns because that's, that's a long way extra to go. And I was pretty sure I'd clear to the front before the turn. And uh, But if I didn't, I was going to be left out the whole mile. And the mark of a great horse, she does it so willingly. Tom Houghton stepped in here for just a moment. An equipment change. The Murphy blind did the trick. No world record, but a track record, something to remember for this great filling. Uh, thank God it's all over with. My heart was pounding all the way. <laughs> now, Tommy, I'm an elector for Horse of the Year. You know that's coming up. Matt Scooter has done his trick. He's got some more races. He could get beat. You go out on a winning note, perhaps. Perhaps even another victory in the Matron. Could work to your advantage. Sure is. Uh, we hope she gets it. She's only been beat once and never by the Phillies, so we hope she gets it. That's all we can say. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, no world record tonight here at Pompano Park for Peace Corps, but we have seen the greatest trotting filly of all time. John, John, we're... Uh, we can't see it on our monitor, but uh, really, you got after a little bit. I noticed she hit the wheel disc there at the end just to keep her mind on business. Well, she gets a little lackadaisical in front. She's been in front so much, and some nights or some days she hasn't been unchallenged, and she'll relax a little bit too much. But as soon as you ask her, she responds so willingly. John, give us a little insight. We talk about good fillies. We talk about great fillies. What makes her great? Well, she's got speed and stamina, and that's obvious, but desire. She's just got tremendous attitude for racing. She just uh, does whatever you want in a race, and uh, she loves it. She loves to race. John, Macklow, Bell, and Peace Corps, any comparison? No, I've never compared them all year, and I'm not going to now. They're, uh, I've been very fortunate to be associated with two of them, and uh, I think both of them belong on that top shelf as all-time greats. A diplomat to the end. Well, that's it from the Winter Circle. Our congratulations all around to the connections of Peace Corps. Now back to Bruce Beck. And the race is now official. Peace Corps returns 220, 210, and 210. Price is okay. Peach Pit, 220 and 210. Park Avenue, Kathy, $2.10. The time of the mile, 157 flat, which ties the track record. This horse was bred by Stanley Dancer, trained by Tommy Houghton, with assistance from Ken Oscarson, the owner, Bjorn Peterson of Sweden. And the driver tonight, John Campbell. So the three-year-old filly by Baltic Speed, now 16 wins and 19 starts this year. The richest filly trotter in North American trotting history and the fourth richest of all time. She had difficulties tonight, but she overcame difficulties. And great ones, indeed, overcome adversity. And that's what Peace Court did tonight. Tom Blakey, Vice President, Field Sales and Marketing for Certified Vacations, the title sponsor for this series, in the winner's circle, making the presentation to Bjorn Peterson and the entire group surrounding Peace Corps. And Mark Athern, who is the caretaker, who has spelled much of her success, is there also. The great Philly Peace Corps has started the night off in style. Here's the final order of finish for tonight's three-year-old Philly Trot. Peace Corps, the race winner. Peach Pit second, Park Avenue, Kathy third. That was fairly predictable. Morelia was fourth, Bandy Hanover fifth, Vintage Port was sixth, Triangle Park seventh, and Reeling finished eighth. Peace Corps on her way back to the barn. A nice wave to the crowd. And now Peace Corps can relax for a while. She's done her work for the night. And she did it very impressively and in not the easiest of conditions and not at her best, if you might say.